everybody. Welcome to my vlog if you're new. I'm Lori and we are going to talk about the books that I just started. I'm in the middle of four books. Three of them I'm going to talk about because one of them I'm doing a reading vlog separately for. I might come in like when I'm done with it because I might, this one might become spoily as I go on the one I'm doing. But, um, as of right now, I don't have plans for it to be spoily, but it could be. So, just in case, I will. If if it turns spoily, then I will start letting you guys know on the regular reading vlog what I what I'm I mean, you know what I give it. But I am currently I'm participating in the hunger hung the Hunger Games readathon. Oh my gosh, I cannot get the word out. I was gonna say hunger, like you know, like you're hungry and <laughs> hunger. It is, isn't it? No, never mind. But anyways, this is a reread for me. I read the first two before. I've never read the third one. So I am on page 58 in this. I'm liking it as much as I did the first time. I think I gave it like a 4.5, but it was more like a 4. But I gave it a 4 on Goodreads, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but yeah, everybody knows what this is about, so I'm not going to talk about it. Is the other one I'm reading? Yeah. I took the dust jacket off. <laughs> I'm also um, doing a buddy read with Drew, my friend Sydney, and some other people on um, Instagram. And we're reading ba Babel. Babel, Babel. I don't know whichever way you pronounce it. I call it Babel. I think the author said depends on where you live or something like that. I think in the U.S. they call it Babel. I mean Babel and then... In the UK, I guess. Babel? Babel? Babel. Yeah. Anyways, um, I actually started this before. I got to around page 132, but put it down and just never continued. So I'm starting over again. So I'm not that far in. Like, literally, I am barely touched this one. I think I'm like maybe 40 pages in. Well, I guess that's okay. I mean, I am on chapter, um, chapter three. So, so far... It's okay. I mean, he's getting ready to go to the school. So now it's probably going to get really intense. Um, like, I don't know if this is going to be like a favorite book ever because I'm already a little, uh, I'm a little confused about the, um, the language. <laughs> so, but yeah. And the other one that I am in the middle of, and I'm probably going to be reading most of today is a is the fourth book in the Soulbound series, A Vigil in the mor Morning, 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 like your morning something, Morning. Uh, but hey, you, don't know, you guys already know I love this series. You guys already know what it's about. You guys already know my favorite character is Wade. And of course, Patrick, like these two, I just love them. Um, you know, I do like, uh, why do I, I don't know how to say his name. Jonathan, Jonathan, I don't know, it's spelt weird. Like, if it's Jonathan, it's not spelt like Jonathan. <laughs> it's spelt um, J-O-N-O-T-H-O-N. And he he shortens it to J-O-N-O. -O. That's what they call him. Jono? Jono? I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, I do like him, don't get me wrong. But I, each book, I start liking him more, even though he's doing something in here that I'm like... Don't do that. So. <laughs> but yeah. This one I'm the furthest in. <laughs> of course. This I eat up like candy. I'll probably finish this in a... If I have like a few hours just to sit, I would finish it like in two hours probably. <laughs> this is going to be my like my main thing that I'm going to be reading throughout the month. Because I have all the books now. And I pre-ordered the um, one that comes out in September with... Um, character I think you I can't remember if he's been in the books yet uh, he's been mentioned but I can't remember if he's actually been on page yet but anyways um yeah and I'm really excited about that one it sounds like it's gonna be really good so I have that pre-ordered I don't know exactly when September it comes out but I know it's in September so I'm super like yeah but yeah this is really good and I'm going probably just binge it I probably won't read any of it um, starting Friday. Friday is um, Summerween, so most likely 
I'm going to be um, ending this vlog either Wednesday. I mean, either, yeah, probably either. I'll probably end it either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm currently reading. And yeah. Like I'm gonna, I recommend this. Like I said, if you love, if you like Shadow Hunters, but you wanted a little bit better, or if you didn't like Shadow Hunters because you wanted it to be more darker and more adult, because this is definitely adult and it's definitely a lot darker so far. I mean, I've never finished all of Cassandra Clare's books, so I can't say that her books don't get darker, darker. But this one is pretty dark. But it's also, like, has a lot of humor in it. So, yeah. I really, really am loving this. But, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys later. Hi, everybody. I'm back. I got my two shirts that I ordered, uh, like, three weeks ago. I think it was, like, two or three weeks ago I ordered them. They're both um, fourth wing related shirts. You guys know I'm addicted to fourth wing. So I needed a couple of fourth wing shirts. I got these through an Etsy shop when they were on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale. But they were on sale when I got them. That's the reason why I got them because they were on sale. And plus I wanted a couple of shirts from fourth wing. So that's my favorite book right now. And of course it has the quote a dragon without their rider is a tragedy a rider without their dragon is dead <laughs> That's like one of my favorite quotes I want to get a tattoo with that little dragon she's so cute the dragon oh this one's in pink These ones have tags on them, so I'll take them off later. This has the name of the war, um, the, the college, the war college, or whatever you want to call it. This one's bigger. I don't know how to say it. Basca, Basca. I for, I forget how you say it. War college. Is that cool. Of course, I got to wash them before I can wear them. But that is my little, my two shirts that I got. I'm so excited to wash them and then try them on. Let I me mean, wear them. I'm going to try them on before I wash them. <laughs> here, we can put this one over. We can put them over here. Over the shirt I'm currently wearing. <laughs> of course, you guys can't see it very well because let me pick my tablet up. You can see it somewhat. I'm not st I'll stand up for you guys can see the see it better. Of course, you guys won't be able to see probably see my face, but that's okay. But maybe you can see the shirt better if I stand up. There you go. Here we go. Ooh, so pretty. Move out of the way for a minute, Gray. Move out of the way for a minute. Move. I'm trying to make grace and move out of the way where I can sit this down and you guys can maybe see it better. Okay, I'll go back a little bit. Nope, I don't think you guys, it's going to make it worse. That ain't going to help. I probably need to put you guys up something higher. We don't have nothing higher to put you guys up on. So, maybe this would be better. As long as... Grayson doesn't go jumping up there to make the tablet fall. Maybe I can get it to go there for a minute. I don't know how far I have to go. Nope, it's going to make it worse. And you guys need to be higher up. 
let's try again with the book. Put it, you guys on top of the book. Probably not. You guys really need to be higher up. But maybe a box. But the box is higher up. Let's see. If I put you guys on the box. the book there. Awesome. Let's try again. And you guys are like, quick move at me. There we go. Let's see. Nope. Oh well. That one's too high. We need something that's not as high. Maybe if I sit on the floor. I doubt it though. Never mind. You guys got the gist of what it looks like. Put you back there for a minute. I'm gonna take this one off and then I'll put the other one on. That one's gonna be longer. I think I got that one like a size higher. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. I told my friend Janae I was gonna take a picture. This one has more of a smell to it and it's a little bit itchier. Well, the other one's nice and soft. Like super soft. This one has like a more of a like a tighter, like a weird feel right here. Probably because I have that the uh, shirt on maybe. The other one, it doesn't seem to bother that I have the other shirt on. Let me eat. You guys get that? Yeah, this one's like the material's different. Like a more scratchy of a material. Still really cute though. Gives you guys ideas, right? Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Goes all the way down to there. <laughs> like you guys care. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I will talk to you guys all later. Hi everybody! I finished a vigil in the morning. 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 Like you're morning somebody. <laughs> I cannot say it. It sounds like I'm saying it wrong when I'm reading it in one big, you know, all together and then one big title, whatever. I like this one. It wasn't a six star like book two and three were, but it was a five star. So what I did of course, tab a lot. I don't think I tabbed as much as the other one either. I wish I knew where I put the other one because then I would show you if we could compare it to the last one I read. And anyways, yeah. But I think I'm just going to work on this series until I finish it or until Friday gets here because um, my brain is just on this and I can't concentrate on any other book. I just want to like read them and see how everything ends. So I'm probably just going to, I was going to try to like read this one and then one more this week and then wait until after the um, summer ween was over and then read the last two. But I really want to read the, read the series of why I'm in the mood to read it. And I just had that feeling that if I do try to like read something else, I'm not going to be able to concentrate. Grayson! Grayson! Sorry. He's scratching that stuff. Um, the carpet thingy. But anyways, yeah, I really, 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 really like this one, though. But I have a feeling, um, it's over here. On the Wings of War is going to be probably, like, really be good. I kind of spoil myself a little bit because I really like, I've read the backs to all of them. <laughs> so I know what, like, book six. I know what that's going to be about already, and I'm like, oh my god, that one's probably really going to be good, six, and then of course seven's the last one, so I'm sure that one's going to be really good, so, I'm so excited, I should have done a reading vlog, doing, reading this, and then tell, I could have told you guys spoilers as I read, <laughs> it's so good, like, Wade is my baby, I just love Wade so much, him and um, 
Patrick are my favorite. Don't get me long. I like Jono a lot. John, John, Jonathan, 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 how do you say his name? A lot, but Patrick and, um, oh my God, this cat is driving me crazy. But Patrick and Wade are like my ultimate, ultimate, so. And I don't think you're supposed to like Lucen, but I love Lucen. There's just something about him that really intrigues me and makes me like some laugh and be like, oh my God, what is he going to do next? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's so good. Like I am just loving it. So this week, you guys are probably going to get me just reading these. So I know, I know, I know. But I eat them up like candy. Like, I'll probably be done with these easy by Thursday. A book and a half a day? Who knows? As soon as I pick up the other one, I might be done with it tonight. <laughs> no. I'm going to watch a couple of videos in two today. So, yeah, I know. I changed my glasses again. I keep changing. We were cleaning. And I was cleaning out here. I still got a lot to do. I need to go through all my... On top... All the top of my, um... Shows? Book shows? Yes. Yeah. So, that's what I need to do. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm done for today. But yeah, tomorrow that's going to be my thing to clear up all these tops. And I think me and Hannah are going to also, um, tomorrow, start our diamond painting. We're doing a diamond painting to get together. We're doing, um, I don't know if I showed you guys my diamond paintings, did I? I can't remember if I showed you guys my diamond paintings that we got. I got one for myself, and then I got one for me and Hannah to share. I can't remember if I showed them to you guys. One is a, uh, the one that's mine is a, um, a slaw. I love slaws. I don't know what it is about slaws, but they're, like, one of my favorite things now. And the other one, I think, are is a mommy and baby raccoon. That's the one me and Hannah are going to work on together. I'm so excited. So we're going to start with that before we can do it together. So I think we might do that tomorrow. If I can find me like an um, audio book to listen to while, I'm, while we're doing it. I'm thinking to, um, about rereading this one series that I loved um, with the library. I forgot what it's called. Blood and ink? Ink and blood? I forget what it's called. <laughs> it's a middle grade. Or YA, I mean, it's so good. And I really want to reread it. I think I have the audio for the first book. So I might do that. Get the name of it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Uh, blood and ink, ink and blood. Uh, I don't know. It's it's to do with the um, library, the uh the Alexandria Library, whatever you want to call that library. Uh, it's by Rachel. Is it Rachel? Oh my gosh, I'll have to find it and show you to you guys later. But yeah, can't remember the name. My my, I think it's Ink and Blood or Bloody Ink. <laughs> Never get. I know the author died like a, like three four years ago. I think. I can't remember. And it's not like in the front of my bookcase. I, it's on my bookcase that, um, like I have not my Only James stuff on, but the case before that. Anyways, it's like in the back of it. So I know it has to do with the, the library that burned or whatever. What if the library of the Alexander didn't burn? <laughs> I'm just blanking on the name. But yeah, if I can, if I still have the audio, I believe I do. And then I might listen to that and um, do some diamond painting tomorrow. Not today, because my eyes are hurting and stuff, so. Or it's kind of hurting. I got a little bit of a headache. And you got to, like, be able to, you know, see those little, little, what is it, the little things, uh, like, you know, put the diamond painting on. So, yeah. I think if Hannah's up to it, that's what we'll do tomorrow. But I'm going to let you guys go. And... After I read something else, I will get back to you. Oh, I also want to say, 
if I do wind up giving some spoilers, because I have a feeling I'm going to want to give some spoilers in book five, then if I do, then I will, of course, give you guys warning for if you ever want to read this, you know, you can skip the spoiler part. But yeah, there might be spoilers, so don't be surprised if I wind up, especially when I get to the last book. I might wind up doing a vlog where I just read the last two books in the vlog and spoil the last two books. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But you guys know I will always put spoiler before I do it. So, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Thank you.
get wet. Wednesday. Sorry I didn't update you guys yesterday. And this is a and I didn't even update you about this book. I don't even think I told you guys that I was reading this book and I finished it. It's called Dragon Rider by S. Rod Rodman. And it, I gave it a 3.75, rounded up to a four. It was about it's it's a Mel 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 romance. It's a happy for now, just for you guys to know. It's about this guy, um, Kirby, who um, goes and wants, he needs a job, so he goes and answers this thing, and he doesn't know that there's the, that there's dragons, and he, and you got to, like, be chosen by the dragon, and then if you're chosen, you ride this dragon, and you're supposed to be protecting the earth, earth from these creatures, I forget what they're called. And, um, yeah, before they can come and, like, destroy the world, I guess. Kill people, you know, whatever the case may be. And he winds up falling for two of the other dragon riders. So, yeah. I thought it was, I think it was, like, I was saying, because I'm doing, like, a thing where I'm doing, like, wrap-ups. I mean, I mean, talk about the book as I go, and then I'll put it up at the middle of the month. But anyways, um... Let's talk about how I just wish that there wasn't so much freaking sex. And this is me that loves sex and books. But this one, I felt like sometimes the sex would take over too much of the what I was looking for. Like, I wanted to know more about these creatures that are, like, trying to get through to our Earth and kill everybody. Yes, you would say. Oh, sorry. This fly is driving me crazy. But in this world, the dragons, yeah, just say, like, if the dragons are, like, in heat or they want to, whatever the case may be, they like to have sex. And there, there's this one that always loses on purpose. The dra His dragon, the main guy's dragon, because he's the only one that um, has a point of view. That's another thing I don't like. I love books where all of the characters have a point of view. So if it's a why choose... I want to have everybody's perspective, and yeah, so that's another thing I didn't like about it, but I love, like, the plot, I mean, what I know about the plot, about, you know, these creatures, like, coming down, and you have to, like, ride these dragons, and, like, get rid of them before, or kill them before they can, like, hurt everybody, whatever you want to say, so I love that aspect of it, I just want more, so I don't know when the next one comes out, but I'm definitely going to read the next book, because I really liked it. It's a lot of fun. I just don't. I wish there wasn't quite as much sex in it. And that's weird for me. Okay, I want to show you these stickers I got today. So this one was a free one. You see the cute? It's like a little, it's a book. And it's got flowers. I think that's so cute. And then I got a couple of fourth wing stickers. This one just says fourth wing. And then I got the bigger one with um, the dragons. I always forget their names. But there's the little golden dragon from Fourth Wing. Isn't she the cutest little thing? I want one of those dragons on me. I want to get her as a as a tattoo. Isn't she, I mean, she's just so adorable. Like I want her. Want to get her, and then I want to write down her name for. I can put like her name 
on it somewhere. Oh my gosh. I want her so bad. I kind of want her like maybe on my other shoulder or maybe I still, I would love to get one, but I'm too scared. I would love to get one like on my like back somewhere, like my shoulder in the back. Maybe I don't know, but I, I just love her or on my ankle. Maybe I don't know. She's just so adorable. So yeah, if I could, I'd probably get both, but it'd probably be expensive. <laughs> So I'm thinking about maybe getting a, another tattoo for my birthday and get the dragon one. I mean, get the little golden dragon. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to calm down. Okay. The four books I got from Book of the Month. Okay. My main pick was Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. I'm so excited. I might start this. Oh, I didn't show you this. I got... This is well, it's just like an annotating key that I thought was cute. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, or if I'm just going to use it as a bookmark. But it has like characters, world building quotes, foreshadowing, plot twists, funny, emotional spice. I don't know if that's supposed to be female, female main character and male main character. I'm assuming that's what those initials are for. FMC and MMC. But yeah, so I bought this the other day on Etsy. I don't remember which one was from which shop. <laughs> but one of the ones I got was um, from Safely Wild Designs on, on Etsy. And then the other one I got from um, CozyCatDesignCo.com. So those are the, the two places, but I just don't remember which one was which. <laughs> But anyways, yes, I, I just love this so much. But anyways, so I got that. I'm not going to tell you guys what these are about because, yeah, most of them are, should be what you call But this is an adult fantasy. I'm so excited. Like, I really want to read that, so I might start it. Let me sit that down. I also got for the other one because these were two of the main picks. I got three. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. The other one I got was my main pick. Well, it don't matter. All three, I think all three of these. I can, yeah, th three out of the four of these were um, physical, was actual books of the month? I can't remember. My main picks. But anyways, if I'm wrong, you guys would know. This might not have been a main pick. I can't remember. But anyways, Catherine Center I got. Hello, stranger. I know this has to do with face. She has face blindness. So that sounds intriguing. And there's going to be a love triangle. So that should be cool. I also got Dark Corners. I know this was a main one. By Megan Golden. I know um, that we follow the, the, um, the lady from Rachel. What's her name? Rachel? Raquel? Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, who was in Night Swim. I don't think you need to read Night Swim in order to read this. But, it probably, but I would recommend Night Swim. Because, oh my god, Night Swim was so good. But in this one, like... There's this um, guy that is supposed to be getting out of prison, or getting out of prison. This there's an influencer that goes and sees him, and a couple after hours after she goes and sees him, she goes missing. And um, Rachel has to like, you know, he's doing the case, trying to figure out what happened. So that sounds like it's gonna be fun. I love this so much. Just love the color. Of course, I'm gonna be reading this, and then the next one I'm gonna talk about for um. Summerween. And I got this one was definitely an add on. The only one left by Riley Sager, of course. I heard that this one is more like his how he used to be before like the last couple of books. Even though I'm unpopular opinion, but I love Survive the Night and I hated, hated the last one. How the house across the lake or whatever. So yeah. But this one I'm super excited about because they said it kind of has like um Home Before Dark, I think it is, vibes. And Lock, Lock the Key? Lock, it, Lock the Key or something like that? I can't remember what the other one was. They said, like, a couple of his older ones. Like, you know, his more popular ones. So, yeah. I'm super excited to read this. It's probably going to be the first book I read for the read of that. I'm so excited. But, yeah. All I know about this is that this lady's accused of, was accused of killing her whole family. Um, and she finally is 
and she won't talk about it. They didn't have enough to like ar uh, to arrest her, and she never talked about it. But then all of a sudden, like she tells this one girl that she will tell her the story of what really happened. It goes from there. So I'm excited. Oh, let me show you real quick. The book month book book. Oh my god, I cannot talk. The bookmark for book of the month for this month. Ain't that cool? I'm in my villain error. <laughs> I, I love this. But yeah, so that is what I got for book mail. You guys, I am going insane because I cannot buy any books. I have a couple books that I pre... I think I have one or two books that I pre-ordered. And that's all I can have is my pre-order ones. And I have like two or three books I really want. And I'm like, you can't get it. Oh, because we're going to be going to Indianapolis at the end of this month. And I can do like a splurge. I know that's why I'm like trying so hard not to buy anything. Because I know as soon as we go there, I can to Indianapolis. And I go to Book of the Month. A book of the Month. <laughs> Barnes and Noble out there. I'll be able to buy a whole bunch. But it's so hard. Like, I'm seeing all these books. I'm like, I want this book, and I want this book, and I want this book, and I want this book. Oh, I really want to push. Bye. But I'm being, I'm trying to be really good. I only can get books if they're pre-ordered. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I got to calm down, right? But it's just, yeah. Um, I love to buy books. So, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go because this is very long, and we're going into a tandem about buying books. And it's making me feel more like buying a book. I don't know what I'm reading next, to be perfectly honest. I'm in the middle of some stuff, but I'm not sure if I'm in the mood. So, like I said, I might start the Chloe Gong one, just to see what I feel. Or I might pick up... Oh, where did I put it? I got all my stuff down here, you guys. Or I might um, pick up um, A Curse and Ash. Or uh, or um... I have a couple other ones. Uh, I have, uh, I started People We Meet on Vacation for my Emily Henry reading vlog. Not, I haven't picked it up at all today, so I have that I could pick up. After reading the Dragon Rider one, I kind of want to read another book by S. Rodney, Rod, Rodman. And I got the un, Unfettered Omega. And then I'm in the middle of um, Babel or Babel, um, Hunger Games. So I got a lot of books to choose like that I'm in the middle of. But I really want to start something new. And this is my problem. <laughs> is that I want to keep reading. But I only really have like a day and a half and then um, Summer Ween starts. So if I do decide to pick up something new that I haven't started probably going to be this because it's shorter than this so I might be able to get done with this by tomorrow night whereas this I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of um, get rid of my get done with and I'm so excited though I really 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 want to read this I am I don't know if, if the last book is still coming out in October but the last time Julie said something which was about four or five months ago she said that she thinks it was going to be, she's almost positive it was going to be the same as the other ones, which is in October. So, I kind of want to read this this month, or if I don't get to it this month, next month. This is one of the books that I put, books that I really want to get. I think this was one of the books that I put on books I want to get to in the next three months. If not, I meant to put it on there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys go because this was a very long clip. I am so sorry. Um... I don't know if I'm going to update you anymore um, in between books. I might just tell you, like, after I finish it, what I rated and what it was about then. Because this is going to be a long read and vlog. And tomorrow will be the last day I do this one. Because then we'll be doing Summer Ween, and that's going to be the whole week. So I'm going to be doing, like, two to three a day. Wait, there's seven days, so three. Um, maybe one day I'll do a three-day then the next time a two day and then another two day so yeah so i might do friday saturday sunday together monday and tuesday together and then wait no that would be minutes 
I'm trying to remember the last day is. 7th to the 13th? I don't know if that's right. But anyway, seven or eight days we have. I can't remember. So if it's seven days, then we'll do three, three, no. Three, two, two. If it's eight days, we'll do three, three, two. I don't know. I forget. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye. Happy, happy Thursday, everybody. I finished a book. And I wanted to give you my writing. I'm not going to go too much into it because I'm doing like a, where I sit down and talk about the books and they'll be up in the middle of the month. So, yeah. And I will go into more depths. But just in case, because there might be like little spoilers here and there in that one. So just in case, uh, I'm going to talk about like the books here as well. So yeah, I just finished um, Unfettered Omega by S. Rodman. Um, I gave it a 3.75, rounded up to a 4. Um, I go into, like I said, in the wrap up why, you know, how I felt about it and like why I gave the rating. But I will say, I really loved the two main characters, Red and Brody. This, I'll just say, this is about, like, they're, like, like, there's a vampire, there's, um, Red, of course, who is, um, a, uh, a shifter, uh, a, wait, uh, oh my gosh, why do I forget the actual name of it? He's a, um, a wolf shifter Omega. Omega. And, yeah. Him, and then there's, like, a vampire and certain people, and they were taken by this bad guy, and they're, like, basically, like, sex slaves? Prostitutes, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, it's very dark, so check your trigger warnings. But I really thought it was good. But there was just some things that, like I said, that were missing for me to give it a better, I mean, a more than a four star. Well, round it up to a four star. If I would have got a little bit more, I think it would have been a four and a half to a five star read. But I just wanted just some stuff that you guys will hear me talk about when my mid-month wrap-up thingy goes up. So, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if you like this video. Remember, I'm going to be doing summer weed a thon starting tomorrow so there'll be like two to three vlogs a day i mean not a day but you know what i mean every two to three days a vlog will go up for that week it's from tomorrow which is the 7th through the 13th, 13th? i can't remember i can't remember when it ends <laughs> i'm so bad at remembering dates i'm sure i said it in my um where I went over my uh, TBR that I was going to read, even though you guys know I always go past my TBR. Don't stick with it. It has to be the 13th. I think it's from the 7th to the 13th. I'm not sure. I know it's 7th through something. <laughs> I just can't remember, but I'm almost positive it's the 13th. But anyways, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven if it's 13. Yeah, seven. So, seventh, eighth, and probably ninth, tenth, eleventh, and then twelfth and thirteenth, maybe? Depends on how much I read. Some of them could be once a day. Like, maybe once. I might have one that's up the same day and then, like, wait a couple of days and then do it. Just depends on how much I read in a day. But, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. Like I said, let me know how your reading is going so far. If you are participating in, in <laughs> Summerween, what are you going to be reading first? I think I'm going to be reading either Dark Corners by Megan Golden or The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I'm really thinking about this one probably. This one, um, I did look, and it does, it is set in the fall. I think I said it was set in the fall. I'm almost positive it was set in the fall. 
because I think she said somewhere in here about it being like October or something like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, this one will probably be for that. I'm mean, so excited for this one. So, yeah. I heard that it's going back to the Riley Sager of old. So, yeah. And I'm going to be doing a spoilerly reading read read and vlog for this one. So, if you don't want spoilers, you'll hear about, you know, the non spoily stuff in my regular read and vlog. So, stay tuned for one or both, depending on how you feel. I mean, if you want spoilers or not. But I'm excited. This one, yeah. I'm hoping it's a lot better than um, House of Crop, the House of Crop, the Lake, whatever the last one was. So I gave that one like a one, 1. 1.5 star, something like that. So yeah. And I'm really excited about this because Night Swim was one of my favorite stories. And the main girl that does the podcast in that one, Rachel, I think her name is, is in this one. So yeah, I'm so excited for both of these. So those are probably going to be the two that are read first and go from there. But yeah, I am out of here. Let me know, like I said, what you're currently reading, if you're participating, what you're going to be reading first. Um, yeah. And how is your reading month going? Okay, I will talk to you guys in the upcoming reading vlog. So stay tuned, and I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Happy reading.